Introducing Trice, and you're watching the Melody Trice Show. You know I'm all about living life unlimited. Well, one of the things about it, if you in Hollywood, you gotta stay fashionable, baby. Okay, I mean like, fashion is like the thing right now. And I'm so excited to have with me some amazing fashion designers. So you guys, you gotta stay tuned because after this break, we're gonna be right back. <laughs> It's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. My graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in yourself, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Introducing... I know you need some tips on your fashion, right? So I have the perfect person here with me today, which is the almighty Perry White. How you doing? I'm so wow, happy that, I, that's, that's an introduction okay. for the gods. I don't know if I can live up to oh, that. Oh, dude, you got it, okay? And I mean, look how we vibing today. You know what? This is a surprise. Oh, my you God. Know? Oh, well, you know, I got my people, fashion People would think that you. we planned this, but, but we didn't. But we did. And look, I mean, I, I knew if I was going to have you on the show, oh, I had to bring it, okay? You, you I had to bring it. And look, I'm you, matching you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like we had the little fairies on our shoulders yes. giving us that direction. Oh, my God. Then we show up and we're matching. Well, look, <laughs> you have been doing some amazing things. You technically have paid the way for other people, your designs, your inspirations behind it. I mean, you design stuff for so many people. Mm. I mean, I think about Nicki Minaj, all these amazing mm. videos we've seen for his music mm -hmm. and some of the people over your longevity of your career. Mm -hmm. So, look, what has kept you most? Motivated. That is a good question. I, I think it has a lot to do with just um, my sense of determination, mm. um, just like my my constant um, quest for newness. Wow. Always wanting to create something beyond what I've done already. That's that's kind of like my goal in life is to always stay fresh and always stay current and always reach for something beyond what I've done. Well, you know, we say fashion forward. Mm -hmm. So like, will you say you set a trend yourself with your your designs? I, I consider myself to be uh, a trend setter. Um, I don't necessarily um, like the word trend. I think it's all about the essence that mm. you bring to the table. We all try to bring something new and something very individual. A trend is something that people look to for direction. That's true. Uh, I try and look outside of the box in order to find my inspiration. If you look wow. within it, then you're just doing the same thing that everyone everyone else does. Because you unlimited. I, that's I try to be. Damn, I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to follow your, your <laughs> rule. <laughs> oh my god! Because you know when you look at your stuff, you know Perry White stuff. I mean, dude, your stuff is so well made, so well Thank tailored, you. and you. you know that you thought about it. Thank you. Because a lot of people don't make their their garments and their designs, you know, like. Unfortunately. Wow. Well, I think we're in the day and age of uh, what I like to describe as throwaway clothing. Mm. Um, people, many people, I should say, not everyone, but a lot of people don't care so much about quality. They're just concerned with getting the look of the day, mm. you know, and I think in many cases you can have a garment in your closet forever 
and every time you take it out, you're making a statement rather than buying something and after wearing it once or twice, it's really not fit to be worn again. That's just, it's inferior quality. Wow. So I'd rather invest in one great piece than have a hundred throwaway pieces in my, that, in my wardrobe. Oh my God, that, that, that speak volume. Mm -hmm. Because to me, those are jewels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Irreplaceable. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because you can go buy throwaways anywhere. You can buy it anywhere. And then you build upon that. You buy one great piece, you know, this month, and you buy another great piece next month. Some people like to just buy a bunch of different stuff. Wow. <laughs> you know? And never wear, really. And, they, and some of it they never wear. Wow. And then Because they bought it on a whim. On a whim. But something, but quality pieces, you're going to put the investment of time, energy, and thought into oh. it before you make that purchase. And that's the thing. Mm -hmm. One of the key words to me you said was thought. Because mm -hmm. you did it on purpose. You right. thought about yeah, it. it was, like, yeah, what, yeah. what is this piece going to do for me? Yeah. How is it going to add to me and, right. and my closet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Because I'm a want to wear this again because it's, it's a signature piece. It's an investment. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I know, too, you make also, um, how can I say, custom. I do a lot of custom, yes. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite part of the business. You know, working with an individual where we sit down together and I can catch a vibe from them mm. and they depend on me to capture the essence of what it is that they want. Wow. And I really, really enjoy that. I enjoy crafting garments, wow. you know, out of fine fabrics. I like making patterns. So I do a lot of pattern making myself. Oh, wow. Um, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it kind of like helps me to carve out exactly the way that garment should fit mm. if I'm making the pattern. I know the little nuances of that person's body type and their wow. figure. So it's fun. And that makes a difference because you can go in a store and purchase an item mm -hmm. and it looks it don't look that good on you right? because it's not tailored for your body. Right. You know, but when you spend the extra time, money and investment mm -hmm. into customizing that, it, customizing yeah, exactly. it to you, it's like it's you it's, all it's by itself. It's crafted to your every every single inch, every wow. little nuance of your physical body, your physique, your figure. Wow. It's made personally for you. And that makes a difference. It does. It well, makes all the difference. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And look, I have to ask you this. Well, what, when you're looking for models mm -hmm. to, to really showcase your work, mm -hmm. what what do you look for? Because a lot of people out there, they say, okay, I want a model, I want to do this, I want to do this. What do you look for in order to showcase your body, your, I, I, your clothing for I, your I look, body? I look for a great sense of self and uh, an awareness of individuality, um, a person who knows how to... Uh, wear a garment but can wear it in their own special way mm. it's not about shape it's not about body type mm -hmm. you know because that's what the, the world is built on individuality yeah so i don't cater to one specific type of woman or mm -hmm. or guy for mm -hmm. that matter um it's all about bringing something special to the table and wow. and when i see it i know it owning it exactly wow and that mm -hmm. makes a difference because if they own it then a person that actually want to purchase that item or yeah. get it specially made for them they're going to feel right. good exactly. about it exactly when, well, when they see that person wearing it they're going to be like whoa well, yeah, like, if I, they can, I if they can rock that and own it like that then it gives you the confidence to believe that you can too wow we all can we're all capable yeah it's just pulling it's it just, out. It's just pulling it out. Well, you know, your clothes make it pull out of me anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you put that on, you be like, oh, this, oh, baby, I got to scrap my stuff. Because I don't represent Mary White over here, okay? That's right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, look, I want to be able to check out some of your, you, you bought some of your designs. I did. I brought a couple, yes. Yeah. And I want people to see it, oh, my God, and see the inspiration behind it and watch your model scrap Okay, let's, stuff. let's okay. do it. Let's do it. So, you guys, stay tuned. After this break, we'll be right back with some more with Perry White. It's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. This is Jaina. Into the future. Do you remember back when I was in seventh grade? Anything that I would do, she would make fun of me, she would laugh at me, she would talk to her friends and whisper. I grew up to be more independent and love myself and just be a little bit more confident. Aww, <laughs> I'm like a little tearing up right now.
my graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in yourself, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Introducing... I'm so excited. Right now, we're going to check out some of Perry White's amazing collection. So, Perry, I am just so excited for you to Thank showcase you. some of your collection. So, let's have your first model come out. Okay, so our first model is Vivian. Vivian, oh my God, that is beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. So Vivian is wearing a sparkly, kind of shimmery, uh, wow, rib knit, kind this. of streetwear look with a little bit of reflective taping on it. So it gives it like a funky, elegant vibe, but actually it can be worn in a very, very casual way. So you can dress it up, you could dress it down. She's wearing bell bottoms. Which, I love yeah, the bell exactly. bottoms. It's like, oh my God, so 70s it, look. So it gives it a, a 70s look, but in a very modern day take. Yeah. And yeah. so what inspired you to have the reflectors on it? I love that. Well, it just kind of like, it's very cautionary, yeah. you know, kind of like, it's very, it's very bright. So if the wow. lights were low in the room, then it would kind of like really, be really, really reflective. Oh, so wow. really, really show that pretty particular detail on the garment. I love it. Yeah. And I love the fact that it has the hood. Exactly. It's you a fun know. piece, yeah. So it's very casual, yet kind of very sophisticated and elegant at the same time. Wow, I love it. Awesome. Your beautiful model. Yes, wow. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Vivian. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> oh, my God. And I know you Our have Our next a model yes. is, yes, Veronica. <gasps> and Veronica is wearing a, ah, I love a very, it. very kind of cool motorcycle look. Again, yes. very 80s, a very 80s take on the jacket. I love with it. With the big shoulder pads, mm -hmm. very fun. And then I we got- I love that. Thank you, thank you. And so we got the motorcycle pant with one leg. The one leg, and so, that's so So it gives popular. it a very, very streetwear look. Yes. yes. I love this, oh my God. And I love how it opened up in the front. Yeah. And then with the belt, is that connected? Yeah, the, the belt is connected. So the belt can actually just kind of pop it loose like that. <gasps> oh, wow. It can kind of unzip. And then it has the matching bra top, which, oh. is, which is underneath. I didn't even see and that. And with the little zipper detail. So it's fun, very fun, very functional, very sexy, yes. very streetwear, but elegant at the same time. I've run that to the, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying I ripped that to the dog already. Exactly. Like, okay. <laughs> That's why you absolutely could. Oh my God, that is amazing. I love <laughs> Thank that. Thank you so much. That's one of my favorite. I mean, I love the other one, but that one right there, girl, spam. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So look, I have to ask you this, you know, what was some of your inspirations behind those particular um, designs? Because they're so unique and different. Right. They're not the same. Mm -hmm. You know, so what gave you the mindset, okay, this is what I want to do? Well, sometimes it just depends on the mood that I'm in. But on that particular piece, the piece that Veronica was just wearing, um, I am truly a child of the 80s. Mm -hmm. You know, that is when I kind of... I. In many cases, I want to believe that it was the best time of my life because oh. it's like when I started my fashion career and the big shoulder pads were extremely prominent. Yeah. The waistcoats were extremely, you know, prominent. So I kind of went back and took, you know, a look at some of the collections that were happening back then and how those things were wow. being formulated and how they were put together and became kind of inspired to to do a modern take, do a Perry White take wow. on, on, on some of that. Well, you did that. Thank you. And then I love the bell bottom, Woo. Yes, which was also a great period for me as well, because <laughs> <laughs> I remember the 70s. Okay. You know, you know that was when I was born. I exactly. Was born. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I actually rocked bell bottoms in wow. the 70s, you know. I, I, was, love. I, was, I, I may have been six or seven years old, but I rocked them. I know, too. <laughs> That's like so big. Well, look, I love everything Thank you, you do. So I, I feel so honored to have you on on the show Thank and you. to really like show the fashion because people don't realize that what was then can be now is can how you now. put it together. It's about how you put it together. Wow. Absolutely. And yes. you put it together so well. Thank you so much. Well, look, I want everybody to stay following you. I want people to be able to contact you, especially if they want that custom made right. outfit. Mm -hmm. So could you let them know? Well, my Instagram is perrywhite.la. 
My website is also perrywhite.la. And uh, you can find me on either one of those two platforms. Awesome. And if you want to custom made, you can custom make it to fit anybody type, right? At perrywhite.la. Bam! <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much, Perry. Thank you so I much, Melody. Ah! I appreciate you. Oh, my God. Yes. I appreciate it. We had to rock that. So you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more Fashion Forward. <laughs> If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. This is Jaina. Into the future. Do you remember back when I was in seventh grade? Anything that I would do, she would make fun of me, she would laugh at me, she would talk to her friends and whisper. I grew up to be more independent and love myself and just be a little bit more confident. Aww. <laughs> I'm like blue tearing up right now. My graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in yourself, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Hello, you guys, and welcome back. Well, you know this show is all about fashion forward. Well, I have an amazing fashion designer with me. Her name is Mary Jane O'Kaley. Did I say it right? Okia. Okia. Okay. <laughs> I am so excited to have you on the show. You look amazing. Thank you, and I am so delighted to be here today. Oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> and, I mean, we met on the Hopper Awards fashion show, and you being an African designer, that's what I say, but I know you're not just African attire, right? No. You're all attire. Mm -hmm. So tell me what inspired you to really just be a fashion designer. Actually, I had a dream when I was a child, you know, of becoming a fashion designer. And I didn't get that until I was 19 wow. when I did my wedding. I actually designed my wedding dress. Really? And, you know, when something is built in naturally, you just flow. You just do it, you wow. know. So I got this dress. I made it from scratch. And everyone was surprised, like, how did you do that? And wow. everything came out nice. So oh, my God. And then, you know, so I have been so happy doing fashion and loving my work. So how do you incorporate your culture with the American style and to just say, okay, and owning it as a fashion designer, not classified as an African fashion designer, but just as a fashion designer? Actually, it's, it's a little bit complicated when it comes to African, you know, having your family and going into your career. You know, as a wife, you still have to do your role, mm. but on my own, I find the time to oh. actually do my uh, my work. Wow. Like I remember the first time I did a design for a client here in, a, in, the, uh, in LA, it took me three nights and I didn't sleep like, you know, the wow. regular time that you have to sleep like eight hours. I was able to sleep the next day, <laughs> like in the morning for just two hours. And my baby gets, my baby was like nine months then. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I was like in between, you know, taking care of the family and pursuing my dream. Wow. Which is um, fashion. And you didn't let that stop you? Oh, no. 
Because a lot of people will say, okay, I have a husband, I have kids, I can't, I don't have time to like fulfill my own career. Oh, no. <laughs> so when you when you made that step, what what advice would you give to other, you know, designers, especially in another country, who want to come here to LA? And I mean, you doing it. One thing is loving what you do. Mm. Like if you have passion for something, don't allow, I keep on telling people, don't allow the struggle of life because it's still going to be there. Yeah. So um, abandon your, um, what you have passion for, your career, yeah. just for um, something that you know is always going to be there, which is obstacle. And sometimes yes. <laughs> in humans, well, some humans are obstacles towards other humans, they're like destructions. Wow. Yeah. Know? So I keep on telling people, don't allow human destruction lead you to your dis um, distraction lead you to your destruction. So you have to be focused. Wow. If you want something, be determined. I keep telling my kids, I have five. Wow. I have five kids. Five kids, you guys. <laughs> okay. And I <laughs> And I, my design has been worldwide. Right now in wow. New, um, in India, I have like um, designs over there. Oh like my someone gosh. just tested me um, this morning, and she was wearing one of my dresses. I was like, wow! And she was like, oh, this is so pretty. So in um, London, in England, like Nigeria, everywhere. So I am so happy because oh. it's, you know when you're working so hard and you're seeing people appreciating what you're doing, and it gives you more courage yes. to want to do more yes. and also give back. To the community so I am so happy well, congratulations <laughs> I mean because that's big you're not just limited mm -hmm. to one area you're showing people that you can be anywhere area you're showing people that you can be anywhere yes. and still have your clothing everywhere everywhere oh my god this year I have three awards already so oh I my god <laughs> that is so big girl mm -hmm. that oh my god I am so proud of you <laughs> and I mean you know that's just beautiful to see a woman a black woman at that making it happen you know and showing other people and you're showing that to your kids as well yes. You know, so before you leave, I definitely want everyone to be able to follow you and to be able to contact you to get their own special made yes. gown. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Whether it's African attire, no matter what it is, guess what? They're able to get it, okay? Yep. So how can they contact you? They can find me on Instagram, Sims Africa, and also on my website is simsafrica.com, www.simsafrica.com, awesome. and also on Facebook, Sims Africa. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, I appreciate you so much. Thank and you for having me. Yeah, and, I, and one thing, I know we got to go, you guys, but before she leaves, I just need you to say one thing. Say it, girl. It's fashion. It's fashion. <laughs> it's fashion. It's global. Okay. It's Africa global. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. I appreciate you so very Thank much. You. Okay. Thank and we're going to be showing. Me. Yes, we're going to show some of your clips mm -hmm. and the fact that you won all these awards. So, you guys, we are now on Roku TV as well as Amazon Fire TV. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time, you guys. Bye bye.